Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a get ready with me video. So this is gonna be just mainly raw footage. I probably am gonna cut down a little bit of it. So let's just jump right in. Um, it is gonna be a talk through with me, get ready with me video, and then it's gonna be a holiday edition. I know I did already a holiday look in the previous video previous two three videos ago that's one of the signature looks I have to wear for work of the red lip look so I'm gonna show you the second look that we have to wear for work that is out like basically me jumping from that look to this look um let's start off so first thing first I'm gonna prep my lip with a lip balm this is the EOS lip balm just a regular lip balm so to prep the eye I'm gonna use eye cream this is the Sephora roll on instant depuffing gel and all I'm going to do is just squeeze a little bit of product it has three little balls on there and then we're just going to basically roll it under the eye to the brow bone above the brow and a little bit to the inner corner as well just like a big old circle you are using any eyeshadow or any eye product it's just a good regimen to add to your skincare Face moisturizer. I'm going to take my Dior Hydro Life Cream Sorbet Moisturizer. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Corez um, Nourishing Yogurt Fluid Veil. It is a SPF 30 moisturizer. Since the Dior doesn't have a sunscreen in it and I want sunscreen for everyday use. And I love this mixture because they're both super light consistency. It's not super like heavy and white casted which I love because personally I'm more combo oily and I don't want that oily look I just want it to be hydrated but not like overly hydrated if that makes sense sorry if it gets kind of dark but it's been really gloomy all day I don't think the sun really ever came out out it's just a little bit of a light but cloud overcast everywhere in the Bay Area. Okie dokie. Now that your skin is prepped, we're going to move on to eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to apply this Urban K Primer Potion. You guys all know about this. I still have the old packaging because I have a lot of these backups. I'm going to apply it everywhere that I'm going to apply eyeshadow. So I applied it on my top area and my lower lash line because I am going to apply eyeshadow there as well. Blend with your ring finger from lash line to brow bone. My ring finger because it is the most gentle finger we have on our hand. Now what I like to do personally is start from top to bottom so I'm going to start with my brows like usual. I'm taking my Tarte Brow Mousse, medium brown is the color. And with their tart brush that comes with it, the angle side. And I like to personally start from the bottom. And since um, my brow on this side is a little bit shorter than this side, I'm going to even it out by putting a longer tail on that side. So once I have the desired shape, I brush through with the brush side just to blend it a little bit more into the brow hair. Then I go in with my little shadow color mixture, a kind of like a lavender-ish color. It came in a palette, a sugar palette, is that what it's called? I don't know. It was a long time ago and then I'm using this elf angle brush it's very fluffy so it's not very dense mixed with this is a NYX prune color that color and I just literally start from about mm, mid shaft of my eyebrow and apply it there just because my hair color is a little bit unique I want to say it's not your usual hair brow color so you can't find 
this color. I have to create my own shade just to get a little bit of a match. And I keep the center part a little bit like natural, more bare, the color we left it as. Just so the ombre will look a little bit more forgiving and not as artificial. The color is already very artificial. Now, once we have the brows on, I like to do eyeshadow. So since our eyes are already prepped for eyeshadow, I'm gonna take a more of, kind of like a matte taupey brown. This one right here will be the winner. This is brush number 217 from MAC. And it's a little bit dirty, sorry. Taking that color right here. So I'm applying this to the crease right along here. Starting from the outer corner is what I like to do. So I want the most color concentration on that area. And I'm just going a light windshield wiper motion. And because the brush soles are so loose and like forgiving that it won't impact too much color onto that area. And if you don't know where your crease is, like I mentioned all the time in my videos, just go ahead and take your bristles and press in and you'll see where your eye socket is. That's where your natural crease is. Not this line. You see that? Not that part. Sorry if I'm looking down, my mirror is right here, so I'm trying to make sure it's even. Once we have that going on, we're going to basically take that same exact color, run it on your lower lash line. And I'm not putting too much, I'm just putting a very light amount. And move on to your darker depth color. So that will be more so of like this shade range so this one is more of a darker purpley shade you would say um this is called downtown mouse the first color was called a la mode and it's from the same disney palette um if you guys ever go to disneyland anaheim in the disney store there is a mini mouse palette these are in there and they're really really pigmented i was pretty surprised now i'm taking the pro number 17 brush from Sephora and it's basically a dome shape um, crease brush so this will precisely place the color I want into the area I targeted so taking that I'm gonna apply it to right in between the bare skin and that crease color start from the corner once again mainly putting it on the corner Right there because you want that ombre gradient fade so it looks seamless there's no like cut crease there's no where the eyeshadow began or where it ended so you can just see that it's kind of faded to the background you will say the first alamo color was our transition color so what I mean by transition is that it's kind of like your fallback color where when you look at a sunset, um, you see there is a gradient. You see there's a light to medium to dark. It's not just like a layer of it. It's actually slowly fading with each other. And you want to do that with your eyeshadows. Or else it's going to look kind of tacky if you can see exactly where everything ended and began. So make sure you blend. Blend, blend, blend is your friend. Remember that. And I'm just going to bring it halfway in. That's all I did. Just to keep my eyes a little bit more open still. And I don't want to overpower this look with this dark color. Because the main concentration for this look is going to be the tinsel color. Which is more of a silverish color for the holidays. Also, I'll take the same color. You're going to run it on the lower lash line like we did earlier. And the outer corners once again. Fade gradually. Main color. You want the concentration on the corner here. And because this brush is so precise in the crease and blending, 
that the tip you would say kind of funnels to like a, a like a triangle shape on the tip here which is perfect for application of little areas like this because my lash line is super tiny so this fits perfectly right there under there without having any trouble irritating my eye or you wouldn't use like a jumbo brush under here and it helps if you just turn your head versus moving the brush very harshly on the skin so it helps you just turn your head like this and hold the brush still so once you have that go back and touch up the ala mode color the transition shade like i mentioned you can fade it out more now since you have an idea where you put the rest of the colors i'm just doing little circular motions to blend that out okay and then we can always go back and touch up all right now time for the fun part I'm taking this Urban K. It is heavy metal, I think it's called liner, and this is called Glam Rock. This is like the silver color. And I'm just gonna run it all along the lid. Wherever I left the bear, I'm gonna apply this. I'm applying this there. So try to avoid applying it any higher than where your fade of that dark color is because you want that gradient sunset like I mentioned. And don't go too far out on the corner here because you want that dark color still there. Now take your finger and just pat it down because it's still kind of wet. Just to dilute the silver all around. Okay, and then touch it up again. This is like the dummy proof of um, using glitter because if you don't like to use glitter which I personally don't because it gets so messy it gets in my eye and it hurts like hell this is the way to do it use a glitter liner and if it's a good quality glitter liner it wouldn't it won't sparkle all over your face it'll stay put where you applied it that's why I love these heavy metal ones from Urban Decay and I know every year during the holiday season the silver and the gold always sells out at Sephora because so far my store is sold out of this color. I had this color for like a year now and it's still really good. Because I don't use it very often. Like I said, I don't use glitter very often. And what I do is usually just during the holidays. I'm just patting. Okay. Okay, all right now that I have that I'm gonna go back and touch up the the darker shades and the in the The transition color just since now I know exactly where my glitter is And if you want you can apply a highlight color for under your eye your eyebrow the brow bone area but it's not necessary, it's just more of an option for this look. You don't have to have it there, but that'd be nice to have it there though. I personally like highlight under my brow, so I'm gonna do that. But make sure you use a matte shade just because you don't want to take the, the concentration away from your nice shiny silver tinsel color on the lid. So with a flat brush, this is called C153 Large Chisel Fluff Brush. I believe I got this from Coastal Scents like years and years ago. Really flat, kind of big. I'm just taking this cream shade color, like vanilla shade. I'm just taking this and I'm going to apply it under my eyebrow. It's a matte shade, by the way. Okay, now you have that. Go in with your liner, my NYC Black Liquid Liner. This is perfect to balance out all the glitter. And with this, I'm gonna use a hand mirror so I can see what the hell I'm doing because I'm so far from the mirror right now. Okay. So if you want it to be very neat, like how I am right now, liquid liner will be the winner. But you can definitely use pencil if you feel comfortable with pencil instead. 
Um, I'm very comfortable with liquid, so that's why I use liquid. Funny that I'm not used to um, pencil liner on my top lash line, so it's kind of difficult for me to do that. What's and what's ironic is that I'm okay with applying pencil on clients, just not on myself. Is that weird? Make the liner a little thicker than usual. Oops. Oh well. Still okay. You can still see the glitter. Okay, so now I'm gonna run a little bit of that glitter liner underneath on the lash line in the inner corner. And I'm not gonna pat it down with my fingers because I want this precisely right there. I'm just going to blend out a little bit more here. It looks pretty even to me. What do you guys think? By the way, this is a new camera. What do you guys think? I'm like still trying to get the hang of it. It's a little hard. Alright, I'm taking this Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. I'm still trying to finish it up. As you can tell, I'm almost there. And then I'm going to take this pro sephora number 78 brush it's basically it's a ginormous like kabuki brush almost and it's very dense to bristle so i like it for my foundation really well taking that applying it everywhere on my face and it's gonna work as my primer so how are you guys doing are you guys having a good holiday season. Um, personally, I'm like, I can't wait till the holiday's over because I work in retail, obviously, and it's like in madness right now. Everyone is so last minute, and it frustrates me how many people are so last minute. Personally, I like to do everything early, at least a month in advance, but I understand if you're like, you know, a mm, couple weeks late, but I already can feel and know the last minute stragglers coming into our store at like Christmas Eve and picking up the gifts. And like, are you kidding me? Like, seriously, I, I just can't fathom that thought. Like, I know you're busy, but I know you have at least an hour out of your days from work to get the gifts you need to get. It's not that hard. Like, if you have effort in it, you can achieve it. That's all I gotta say. If you really want to do it, you would do it. Okay, now I'm taking this L'Oreal Magic Nude. I'm really trying to use this baby up. I'm almost there as well. I like to put it on top. The light's getting darker as we speak. Uh. Pretty much done with my Christmas shopping, which I'm very proud of because I finished, I want to say, mm, two weeks ago. And it's what, it's December, December 17th today, I think, right? Yeah, December 17th. So, I can only... Imagine why people are so last minute like I have a full-time job. I have a five-year-old and it's like if I could do it You could do it if people have three kids and can do it. You can do it. That's all I gotta say Like I don't like get when people have excuses for Everything you know like oh, I didn't do it because I didn't get to go shop because No, no because just do it if you have people you need to get for like that you love your family you get it done. Trust. You'll get it done. But obviously you don't care enough. That's why you're so last minute. And then you're like causing the people who are 
on time or early um, to have to work longer hours just to satisfy your ass who is late. Can you tell I just don't like late people? Yeah. Is it obvious? Okay. Once that's all blended out, I'm going to take my concealer. I'm taking this Miracle Skin Concealer. I have a lot of this product. It's amazing. I like it a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Using this concealer brush. Um, it's called 105 Concealer Brush. I forgot. Um, this is from Borghese. Borghese? I don't know how to say it. I got the set from Costco like three years ago. They have really good quality brushes. I'm just going to fan out right under my eyeshadow to clean up and to highlight as well. And these brushes don't poke, which I love. I have a few brushes that I don't know where I got it from, but they poke. And I hate that. Just like, my skin is very soft and like, sensitive in a way you would say. So it hurts if it like has, sorry, if it has any kind of like, prickly feel to it. Because the more you use it, the more it hurts. So if you don't have the right tools, it ain't gonna work. I love this concealer. It's like so soft and smooth. It's like it's like that concealer feel but not like so thick where you can't blend it out. And it doesn't crease as quickly as other concealers do, so I can still apply it everywhere. And by the time I reach to like my other side or my forehead, it's not creased yet. It's not set yet either. Which I like. It just sucks that we don't carry them anymore. Because I really like their stuff. I was probably like the only one selling their stuff in my store. Because <laughs> everyone forgets about them. Because technically they're a skincare brand. And they have amazing complexion products. If you guys like them up. And I'm just literally just patting this super quickly. It, this brush blends everything out so fast. I love it. It looks like seamless, which I love. I like to throw on my lashes last, if you can tell. Okay, now that that's everything blended out, I'm going to take my favorite elf tone correcting powder it is like a color correction powder and I like to use a precise fluffy flat fluffy eyeshadow brush this one's really big I take that and I just run it along all four colors on both sides of the brush and just basically fan it on to wherever I applied the highlight concealer and it just sets it in place and color correct I mentioned this product in my favorites a lot almost every month so if you guys need a concealer setting powder it is perfect or even a highlight powder so this powder will look like a highlight powder on more deeper skin tones um, all my color girls you'll love this for a highlight powder but for anyone around my skin tone of NC25 or so It'll just work as a setting powder because we're so fair, you know. Sorry, you guys. So my battery died and the light is super dark now. So I had to put on my ring lights. So sorry if I look really, really pale right now because I haven't fallen the rest of my face. So I did throw on my false lashes. I am going to apply mascara in the end end. And I'm just going to set that foundation with... Um, this real technique brush in do, 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 multitask brush from the Sam and Nick Chapman collection. So I'm just applying it all over the face, just avoiding the area I highlighted with the concealer under the eye. And once that's set, I'm gonna go in with my contour and highlight color. I wanted to use. My Too Faced, um, this is the Natural Face Palette. I know it's really OG, but um, I just really want to use this thing up. So I'm going to use 
This is called Bronze Veil. This color right here. This is a 168 brush. This is the angled fluffy one to apply my contour. So I'm going to apply this in the hollows. I don't know if this is better, natural lighting or the bright lighting. I'm going to show you guys the natural lighting as well. Oh, it looks like. Since this is a more of a natural finish, this bronzer, I'm packing on a lot because it won't be that obvious anyway. And then for blush, I'm going to use this color is on here as well. It's called, it's just called blush, so I don't know. Just gonna take this fluffy purple brush I got from eBay years and years and years ago and apply it to the apples. I hope you guys can see this. The sunlight's definitely going down because it's getting later. Now, last but not least, lips. So I'm gonna use my. I wanted to use this again. This is in color Brink by Colourpop Cosmetics. This is their lippy sticks. So it's kind of like a rose nude. Yeah. So I'm going to use this and line my lip and apply. And I personally like to connect the top right here so not the sharp cupid's bow. Because I naturally have a very sharp cupid's bow. Uh, I'm just gonna run a little bit of mascara onto the falsies so my real ones can mesh well with it. This is the Kat Von D Immortal Lash. I love this mascara. It's actually really good. Even for Asian lashes, which I'm surprised because I have really short, straight lashes who don't want to curl. And this one actually helps with that. And make sure you have some on the lower lash line as well. Oh no! I got some on my nose! I hate it when that happens. But I'll, let you, I'll show you guys how to take that off in just a second. Just avoid touching it right now because it's still really wet. That little spot. If you were to touch it right now, it's going to make it worse. Okay. So once this little mistake dries up, you just take a little bit. So now that it's dried, I'm just, I just used a Q-tip and rubbed it and it came right off. And just use that same foundation brush you used earlier to like just wipe and clean. I forgot how much I like that palette, the natural face palette from Too Faced. It's actually really good. I love that blush. Alright you guys, that is a complete look. I'm just going to spray a little bit of charged water from MAC. My battery's dying, so I'm speeding it up, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's it, the complete look. I hope you guys enjoy this holiday tutorial with me. Um, I have nothing else to say, uh, but thank you for watching. Thumbs up the video if you guys like holiday looks. And I really hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday with your family and your loved ones. In case I don't get to upload another video before that. And uh, that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!